How did the nigga from Dallas end up linking up with Colin Park? Because they was red hot at the time. You know what I'm saying? They was hot. You know what I'm saying? You got to think about it. He had Soldier Boy. They was on that dance shit real strong. You oh, know so they just seen that and try to. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Bebe. Bebe plugged us in too. You know what I'm saying? Bebe was the, he was like right. the, the go-to guy as far as putting people in position to win. So you got to think about it. We passed up on four, five deals. Like the the uh, the uh, the flex deal we passed up on the toilet boy I look good deal we passed up on because our loan was three sixty deals, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, the goddamn. Was you gonna rap? Like what what part of the, the goal, deal would you be? In, the like? goal when we signed when I when we signed the college part they wanted they wanted me to actually they wanted me to be like the little Duval of the whole little gent. You know what I'm saying? I make sure I get my, my brand right, get them dogs showing. So uh, they wanted me to be like the little Duval, like the comedian and shit like that. So like the first song that we did that was a banger in Atlanta was the uh, walk around the club, oh, fuck shit. everybody. Who? Oh. So let me take. So let me let me tell you some history about this song. No cap. So during that time when that song was made, that was another dude name. His name was Solis. He on the third verse. I'm in my zone. I'm in my that nigga. That was his song. But oh, the shit. walk around the club, that wasn't the hook. That was the bridge. You know what I'm oh, saying? Shit. So I heard the song. I'm playing Madden with, uh, uh, what's the nigga name? Uh, first name, last name. J Money. So I'm playing Madden with these niggas talking shit, giving them niggas some of this Dallas swag. Like, it's just really like just capping, you know what I'm saying? Walker Flocker. All these niggas is coming through this studio, and they in the back. And remind you, I don't care what nobody say. To this day, to this day, can't nobody make hooks like Trail and Rick. Like, them niggas was hook guys, but they couldn't do verses as good. So them niggas had, book, like, they got so much music that ain't never got heard. But, like, I'm in the back, like, damn, fuck all them songs. That walk around the club, bitch, that whole hard. And I was telling, uh, I was telling Kylie Park, I was like, hey, bro, that's the song. That's the song. And then, like, Kylie Park was on some shit, like, hey, man, uh, what you think about this song with Soldier Boy? Wanna fuck with Soldier Boy? Like, boom, boom. Trail caught wind of that. Like, like, dang, you trying to take our nigga to go fuck with Soldier Boy? Like, that shit ain't, that's, that ain't right. And I'm gonna be a real nigga, so I'm like, nah, nah, I'll fuck with Trail Rick, you know what I'm saying? Boom, boom. Like, boom. But the catch was, you know, a song that I heard before everybody and I knew what was gonna work? I brought the song back to Dallas. That pretty boy swag. Oh, they wanted wait, wait, wait. There, there's some controversy behind that, right? Because uh -huh. they took Lil Will's beat, right? And flipped it. Cause the the my, my nigga. the same person that made the the uh the Dougie beat made I, that beat right. I can believe it. <laughs> nah, it wasn't E. It was the dude that just did. He he's been doing the stuff with uh the girl from Houston. Uh, what's that girl? I can believe it, uh, Megan. Yeah, Megan. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He just did a genius. I can for so sure believe Damn, it. That's crazy. I heard that song. I said, bro, that's a hit. Yeah. That was a certified hit, my nigga. I heard that whole playing Madden. I swear to God, I'm telling you. And they were like, you know what I'm saying? Like everything I'm saying is factual, it's actual, factual. I'm talking about to the to the core. You know what I'm saying? Despite that shit, they wound up they making music. We flew back. And then something had happened. Matter of fact, I know what happened. Me and Trey got into it. We got into it behind some Jordans. <laughs> I remember it. You know what I'm saying? Because you gotta think about it. During this time when I was traveling, you know what I'm saying? I was going to college and I was working at the YMCA. So nigga like. I'm used to having money. I'm not, I'm not no one trick pony. So, you know what I'm saying? And back then, DK was hot. Shout out Mama Lisa. Used to get all our Jordans early. So, you know what I'm saying? We're going to shows. And you know, if y'all check all the footage, we always wore the same shit. But like, I'm gonna wear the newest Jordans. I, I like Jordans. This is just what I've been. I couldn't afford this shit when I was a kid. So you tell me, I'll get some money? I'm, I'm wearing the newest Jordans. And like, we had a situation I think we were going through the, the, the choosing of the lawyers for the contracts. And that shit was expensive, because you know, every time a lawyer read that shit, that's 25, 2,000, $3,000 type shit. So they were like, nigga, well, you good, bro. You, you got new joints on your feet. I was like, what? All right. And then shit, me and Rainwater started going on, on shows. So I'm just hosting different events. Me and uh, Tre, Tre, we, the group was kind of broke up. And then we started doing shows on our own. I called Kyler Park. I start walking out to walk around the club, fuck it. But this ain't the hook yet. I called Kylie Park and told him to make that a hook. I swear. Only person that noticed for sure is Rainwater and motherfucking DJQ. 
DJ Man. Q was the only person that got the real song in his Serato now. So if you ever hear DJ Q play Walk Around the Club, you know that big intro in the middle is just beat? Yeah. That was me talking over it. And at the end when it say Trelly Prince Rick, yeah, that's me talking. So they took me off the beginning, you know what I'm saying? But but Q a real nigga, Q still played the my my me talking on it. That was the first song I ever talked on. And then after they heard me talk on that song, they was like, damn, he, you got something, little bro. And then uh I think that's when Q started telling me. Q the reason I picked up a mic for the club. Q and Tam. <laughs> Shout out real street stars, nigga. Moolah. Hey.